remember that in an experiment that you have population the population and from this you take a simple random sample and from this simple random sample you at random choose who will get the treatment and who will be in the control group and those in the control group do not get the treatment and it's this is for experiment and it's super important that the choosing of the simple random sample is random and that the assignment of treatment also is random. So um, <clears throat> this will mean that the treatment is not correlated with any other variable. In a quasi experiment then this treatment variable is made for you. So the treatment assignment is made for you. Okay, so you don't have any saying of who gets the treatment or not, but you can find a group that is treated and a group which is not treated and use almost the same methods as for uh, experiments. And this uh, assignment for treatment, it's as if it's random uh, because it's, for example, uh, a natural disaster or it's a change in laws or it's a change in economic conditions, which is affecting a part of the population, but not other parts of the population. There are four methods that we use for analyzing quasi-experiments. We can use the difference in differences, or we can augment these differences in differences with additional regressors. This will be the Ws in our model. We can also use instrumental variable regression, which we saw in a previous video, and we can use regression discontinuity. And the difference in difference with additional regressors and instrumental variables and regression discontinuity, we will um, uh, talk about in this lecture.